I think it's right at this particular moment that we all pause to remember those who've lost their lives in terrorist acts across not just recent years but across many decades and I pay tribute in particular to Fegan Murray as the whole house has recognised um, during this debate the mother of Martin Head who along with other families have lost their loved ones to terrorism and who has single-handedly if I may say so championed Martin's law. I've had the greatest privilege of spending time with Fegan and so many other families and to be really quite frank, it is quite a moment to even listen to not just the concerns, not just the heartbreak and the suffering, but actually the determination and the resolve to seek justice for their loved ones and to steer through across different political parties their determination to bring this legislation forward in Parliament. And there are individuals as well, like Travis Frame, who has made such a big impact in standing up and giving voice, really, to the victims of these atrocities. And they all deserve the greatest recognition and respect. They have shown a great deal of courage to deal with pain, suffering, and the trauma they have experienced, to work towards making our country, our community, safe, but also protecting other citizens. I do, Madam Deputy Speaker, want to pay tribute to a former security minister as well, who worked on this um, back with me in the Home Office, and that's James Brokenshaw, because he was a diligent security minister who led this work. And this month marks the third anniversary of his passing, and he will be in our thoughts. And of course, our thoughts and prayers must also be with Sir David Amos and his family, whose murder took place three years ago tomorrow. And, you know, we look at that plaque in the same way in which we look at the plaque in memory of Joe Cox as well here. But really look at some of the practical means in which we can start providing public protection and safety sooner rather than later. And I say this in my concluding remarks, particularly recognising that Fegan, Murray and others are here today watching this debate, that really we owe it to them, their families and so many that have suffered and who've been waiting in anticipation for this legislation. We owe it to them to really start to enact measures in a practical way and give them and the public the confidence that they will be looking to us all to drive this forward with positive outcomes sooner rather than later. Yeah. Yeah.